What's up YouTube? I am so excited today. I am unboxing Tampa Bay Cichlids. I got 10 juveniles and then four, I'm not too familiar with the names, but it's a blue dorsal um, cichlid. So we got a colony of four. So one is a male and three females. Researching these guys, um, all the good news. So I'm very excited to open it up. Um, they also have a sticker on the front of it that says live tropical fish protect from heat and direct sun please knock or ring doorbell doorbell handle with care so i actually got the confirmation that it was delivered and i ran straight to the mailbox um i opened my mailbox and there was nothing in there and then i turned around and the mail um the mail person was there and i asked her if they had she had a box of uh live fish and she said yes are you and said my last name and I said yes and it got delivered so this is a Florida based company um, my husband ordered it for my birthday uh, on last Friday it is now Tuesday so it, it shipped out on Monday these guys don't ship out over the weekend so they guarantee your fish will arrive I was surprised it came here this soon but I'm very excited to open it up so let's get started all right so i'm gonna open up this box for you all the videos i watched as well it's very insulated in this box uh during the winter seasons they will send heat packs so let's see so at first it says, stop, read this first. Looks like they send you some stickers. And then the invoice, which is awesome. So like I said, we got a neon blue dorsal peacock, um, a four fish colony, one male, three females. And then we got the mixed peacock and haps. Um, they're 10 unsexed juveniles. So let's see what we got. Um, this says read first. Carefully unpack your fish and brush or rinse off any package, pack packing material that is sticking to the outside of the bag. Float the unopened bags in the aquarium for 10 to 15 minutes to acclimate the fish to the tank's temperature. While fish are acclimating, read the following steps. So I got a bucket here. To rinse off the particles it has it comes nice and insulated so yeah they normally put the heat pack on this side but it's um it's hot in Denver so it's not really necessary and then look they packaged it really well let's open this up There's a bunch of this packing crap. Here, I've got a plastic bag to put all this crap. And these fish are going in my 70 gallon tank. So just feeling it, the packaging is actually kind of wet. So hopefully all these little guys made it they really pack them in there though like there's 14 fish in this small box so let's see what we got I was hoping that they would all be labeled of what they are this one just has a P on it So there's one fish and as I said I got this bucket of water rinse it off Get all those particles I don't want the fish eating this stuff it's a really tiny guy though he's really small it's healthy though so I'm just gonna drop him in his new tank all right, one fish is in the tank. 
There's an H on this one, so it must be a hat. Let me get in the camera for you guys. So this little guy. He is pretty. All right, number two down. Number three, another H. Let's move it around, happy, healthy. Rinse this guy off. Number three. All right, number four has another P on it. This one was the most wet, so let me rinse this off and I'll show you guys when they good. bottom happy healthy swimming around these guys are tiny though All right, I moved him over because uh, the current, this thing was uh, blowing him around. So I, I moved him to the other side. All right, so we got four. Let's speed this up a little bit. So another H. Yeah, H. Another tiny little guy, though. Happy and healthy. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, there he is. A P. This guy's a little more active. Drop him, rinse him off. Yeah, one of these bags is definitely leaking. H. Another happy little guy. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Another P. Oh, this guy is dead. See him? He's definitely dead. So with Tampa Bay, um, I was reading up on it. If this happens about 1% of the time, and what you gotta do is just take a picture, document everything, pretty much. And then they'll resend you a fish. Let me see if I can, all right. So yeah, this poor little guy, he must not have made it. So I took some pictures of it, I'll uh, follow the procedures and uh, email them and hopefully they'll send me another one. But let me uh, rinse these guys off, stick them in their new, get them acclimated. All right, three more going in, getting acclimated. So we got three, four, five, six, seven. They all look great. All right, let's continue on. Let me see, here's another H. Another happy, healthy fish. Get all this junk off. 
And the last P. Another happy looking fish. Happy looking fish. All right. Get those guys acclimated. All right, so I got the the 10 uh, peacock caps in uh, mixed peacock caps in there acclimating right now. Fortunately, one did not make it. Um, but now for the grand finale, my four neon blue dorsals so one is a male and the rest are females and they actually marked it off for you so i'll get i'll show you guys the male first all right the neon blue dorsal let me rinse this one off get a better view Yeah, this packaging stuff is everywhere. It's kind of annoying. But here's my neon blue dorsal. Happy and healthy. Very excited for these guys. All right, so the male dropping it in to acclimate. This fish tank is gonna look so good, guys. So happy. All right, so this female neon blue dorsal, super active. Awesome. Another neon blue dorsal. So hopefully these are all the females. Um, one could be a male though. We know they guarantee a male. So if that one, that one male in that I just acclimated turns out to be a female, they'll actually uh, send you a new uh, fish. So here's that other male or the female. So I got the three females in here. Let's rinse them off. So excited. These fish are going to be so cool. Here's the other guy. Or girl. So these are the blue dorsals. Neon blue dorsals. Super excited. All right, let's get these guys acclimated. And that is it, folks. Let me clean this up. All right. Hey, Siri. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. All right, now we wait. So while I'm waiting, I will read through the rest of this. Pretty much says, thank you for your order. Your fish has been professionally bagged with oxygen and ammonia remover in a mild sedative in a heavy duty professional fish packaging bag. We use a non-toxic re recycled packaging material Material to cushion and prevent bags from moving around much in shipping and it also acts as an absorbent in case of any small water or leaks during shipment if any of the packaging materials gets into your aquarium then just cipher it out the sedative we use may affect different fish in your in order in different ways some fish may look and act normal as soon as they are put into your tank while others may be very sluggish 
and almost completely sedated. All fish should be back to their normal state by the next morning. If you have fish that are already established in your tank that may be aggressive towards their new tank mates, now is the time to address this. In most cases, you can do a minor rearranging of the tank to confuse the established fish. You can put the rocks, driftwood, etc. back to suit you the next day. So I already did, I just changed their, um, their surroundings probably a couple of days ago. So these fish, uh, I, I'm constantly in there. I don't think they're gonna be too aggressive. These guys are pretty small though, but um, I don't think they're gonna have too many problems. Open bags after they are acclimated for temperature and pour through a net over a bucket or sink. Do not, any, do not add any bag water to your tank or any of your tank water to the bag water. Do not drip acclimate. It is more harmful than good on fish that have spent several hours in a bag. If you have established fish, take the fish in the net and slide it down the front of the bottom of the tank and then release it. The fish in your tank are used to food coming from the top, so releasing the new ones near the bottom won't draw as much attention to your tank. So that's a good uh, note. I'll probably actually end up doing that. Um, if you have a problem with your order, this is what I need for this poor little guy. Um, we inspect all fish prior to shipping to ensure they are healthy and free of defects. We photograph all orders prior to packing in the box so we can reference it if we need to. Sometimes during the shipping process, Unusual issues may occur that can affect the health of your fish. If you have an issue or have lots of fish in shipping, um, if you have, oh, blah, 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 contact me as soon as you have taken care of your other fish. Our email is david at tampabaycichlids.com. Please provide a clear picture of the fish in question when you contact us. Do not send video files. We do not open them because of computer virus concerns. May be helpful for you to provide me with your order number, top of invoice. All right. Um, when you email me, so email the top of invoice when you email us as to make it much quicker to look up your order. We, we, normally, we normally replace any problem fish with a new one at no cost to you. We do our best to ensure everyone is happy with their fish. It is always best to research the fish you are buying to make sure you provide them the best environment possible. Feel free to email me if you have any questions, david at tampabaycichlids.com. So this is pretty cool. They just kind of give you a rundown and everything. I'll definitely email him about this poor little guy because um, he is definitely dead. Um, but yeah, I got the, the order number right here. It tell, it's just the invoice, which is kind of cool, and the stickers are in the box. So, pretty cool. I'm super excited to release these guys. Um, just 10 more minutes. Cue the time lapse.
All right, so while these guys are acclimated, I wanted to show you guys um, what I use when I add new fish. It is the Melifix. So it is really good with diseases um, and such like that um, when adding new fish. So you add it on the bottle, it says to add it for the next three days. So I'll add um, just a little bit of this in the tank for the next three days to cure of any diseases. I don't think these ones have diseases or anything like that, but it just kind of, um, just because they're all stressed out, just kind of relieve some stress. I'm also going to add some aquarium salt to the tank as well. Um, I, I add it on every water change. I just did a water change on this tank yesterday and I never added salt to it. So I'm going to add salt and the Melifix right now. All right, so I added this to it. Now um, for the aquarium salt. Oh, that is my timer. Acclimation process is complete. All right, before I release these guys, I am gonna add the aquarium salt to it though. I literally just put a little bit in my hand, just like not even a teaspoon, like just about this much. And then I'll sprinkle it alongside the front and the back of the tank, pretty much all around. So, all right, the aquarium salt's in, the Melifix is in now to release these guys. I am going to do it over a bucket and a net. And then exactly what the, the paper said um, to release the guys halfway down the net. So you guys will all see that just right now. All right, so I moved you guys a little further back so you can kind of see the whole process. I am going to... Um, I am going to be taking a picture of each one of the fish I add to this just so I can maybe in the future tell which one it was. Uh, but I got my bucket, my net. Uh, I'm just going to pour the bag straight into here, catch the fish, and dump it in there. So, all right, so I'm going to kind of try to do it in the order uh, left to right of what how I added the fish in. So. I'm just going to pull a couple of them out. That way I can slowly add them in. Alright, so the first one has a P on it. So, let's open it up. This little guy out. All right, the first little guy's in. H. Two down, another half.
All right, three down. I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on them and make sure that they're all good. Um, and then I'll add the rest. The bigger ones are kind of chasing them around, but I think once I add more, they'll get used to it. Let me grab my next three victims. Ooh, that one's spicy. All right, another P. I'm gonna do two on this one. Let's do another P. All right, let's keep going. One, two, all right, I'm gonna say my three blue dorsals at the end. But we got another half. Another half. All right, and then three halves in a row. Let's do this. And then I got one with a P on it. Get this guy in, we'll do the blue dorsals. All right, it's the blue dorsal fins time. Pull the rest of them out. Just look at this tank now. It's filling up for sure. This tank is just looking so awesome now. So now I'm gonna do the neon blue dorsal. So this is the male again. And then the three females are in here. All right, let's open the, the blue dorsals. I'm gonna do the male last. I'll do the three females. Look at that. It's a gorgeous fish. It's the other blue female. And then the third female.
They're just gorgeous fish. All right, let's add the three females in. One, two, three. So cool. All right, last but not least is the male. Blue dorsal. This is the one I'm super excited for. All right, let's add them to the tank. He's just so pretty. Tampa Bay Cichlids, uh, they did send five haps and five peacocks. Um, one of the one of the peacocks had died. So I'll be getting one more peacock coming up, um, but my tank is looking good. And then as I said, we got the three female blue dorsals and the one male. So hopefully they start breeding. All right, so thank you for watching uh, my channel. I just added 13 new African cichlids to my fish tank. Um, I will be emailing the guy about the one fish that um, died on me while, or died in the bag. I will be emailing the guy about this little guy, but um, I'm very excited um, for this fish tank. Please subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like to see these little cichlids grow up, uh, please comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.